The National Integrated Planning and Program Unit, NIP, within the Department of Finance, recently held a two-week building condition assessment and asset management train the trainers course at the South of Lewis Community College. Director of the NIP, Howard Wells, noted that training modules comprised best practices for maintaining public buildings through the conduct of building condition assessments, planning and prioritizing maintenance, and deriving replacement costs for financial decision making. Throughout the years, the government of St. Lucia, this has been a continuous problem. Buildings and their conditions, eventually it moves on to sick buildings. So we're taking the scientific approach to this. We want to develop a series of baseline, a strategy where we could attack this at least to create a baseline, get the data that can inform one, our policy makers, very importantly, but of course our finance technocrats. So when they get submissions from all the agencies who are responsible for taking care of government buildings, they in turn understand the decision-making process and of course the figures that come before them. The training course was facilitated by Dr. Luis Bermudez, who is a consultant, structural and wind engineer, and a professor at the University of Puerto Rico. I think the, the main purpose of these uh, two weeks is to create the trainee trainers and the participants are eager to learn uh, and use this in the future, uh, especially the, the faculty members uh, here at the college. They will be able to use this as a starting point and improve as needed. Uh, for the need of the San Lucia uh, people. Lecturer in the Engineering and Circular Economy Unit at the South of Lewis Community College, Kareen Snack Hippolyte, is optimistic that this management course will redound positively to the future built infrastructure on the island. So students will be a lot more aware of their actions going out there, getting out into the field. So it, in terms of preventative maintenance, in, in terms of being able to assess a building better, and to understand all of the difficulties we have with our buildings, our current buildings right now. It will assist them in that way and place them in a much better place to do better. Thebels Consulting was tasked with developing a tool to assist the NIP unit in relation to asset management. In developing the tool, a physical assessment was conducted of 25 buildings and a report was generated outlining the conditions of these buildings, the required repairs or renovations, and the high-level costs to remedy the building's condition. Charlene Menal is a civil engineer with Thebels Consulting. I think the NIP department is doing a very good job in terms of looking at this from a long term. Um, government has a lot of facilities. I think the list right now, they said, is about 500 but we only started with 25, just to get the ball rolling. And I think the intention would be for various technocrats, those in the ministry, Ministry of Planning, Ministry of Finance, as well as a component that they don't to offer. So they're trying to get students trained up so that they too can help with um, improving that database. And over time, we'll have all these buildings on that database with all those matrices in there. The information generated by the database will also inform when an asset has reached the point of being considered obsolete and will ultimately provide policymakers the evidence to make better use of limited resources. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.